you're looking to visit a place that not only has a very well-preserved, rich history, but also good food and entertainment, Savannah, Georgia is the place for you. With lots to see and do in Savannah, there's definitely some things you should know before making a visit. But if you're not sure where to start, have no fear, because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 things you need to know before visiting Savannah, Georgia. Whether or not you're new here, welcome back here to the Megan Moves channel. I am excited to share with you some things that you should know before visiting Savannah, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. Now, the first couple of items that we will talk about here on the list pertain to transportation. So item number one here on the list, we're gonna talk about the Old Town Trolley Tours. Now, when thinking about transportation when it comes to Savannah, there's definitely a variety of ways that you can go about getting around Savannah. The one thing that I really appreciated about Savannah is that I felt like it was a very walkable city, but there might be instances where you don't have enough time to walk around the city. You wanna make the most of your time. So taking some type of trolley tour or other transportation might be more feasible for you. And again, with transportation, as I mentioned, there's a wide variety of choices that you can choose when it comes to transportation. But when I was personally in Savannah, these old town trolley tours really stood out to me and seemed like a very interesting idea. So that's why I wanted to share it with you today, but definitely feel free to go about and do your own research because there may be other vendors that you can choose from. Now, as I mentioned, these old town trolley tours definitely stood out to me. And the one thing that I really liked about them is that they have a wide variety of stops on their route and you have the opportunity to hop on and off the trolley. Since I personally did not do this, I checked their website and looked at what admission looked like and it looked like like by purchasing a ticket for the day, you can hop on and off the trolley unlimited amount of times, which made it a very feasible looking option. Another great thing about the trolley is that a lot of the stops that it has on its routes are a lot of Savannah highlights that you might wanna see when visiting Savannah. So by going for this trolley tour, I definitely can see how it would be a great option for you to maximize your time in the city because you can hop on the trolley, get off at a stop, go around, see the Savannah highlight that you're looking at and be able to get dropped off right at the next highlight that you're going to see. But also in doing some research, I saw that there may be some other public free transportation services that you can take. So definitely keep that in mind when visiting Savannah. Item number two here on the list is also a transportation option whenever it comes to visiting Savannah, and that is to bike around the city. When I last visited Savannah, the way that we got around Savannah was by biking. And I felt that it was a really fun and great way to see the city. You were able to look around, see all of the sites, but it was also a very efficient way to get around. So I highly recommend if you're able to do some type of bike tour or rent a bike for the day, definitely take advantage of that because it's a great way to see the city. The next items on the list here are gonna to pertain to a lot of Savannah's highlights and attractions that you can see when visiting the area. And with that, item number three here on the list that I wanna let you guys know about is the Forsyth Farmer's Market. Forsyth Park is already a highlight of Savannah that you're gonna to wanna to go and see. And if you are a fan of farmer's markets, I highly recommend if you are visiting on a Saturday to go and check out the Forsyth farmer's market. This farmer's market is located in Forsyth Park, as I might have mentioned, and it's a great way to support local, but also get a taste of Savannah. Georgia is already known for peaches, and so when we were in the farmer's market, we went and we checked out one of the peach stands that they had available and got some peaches for the day. So I highly recommend if you are in Forsyth Park and like farmer's markets, go ahead and check out the Forsyth farmer's market, spend some time there, see the park, and also check out a lot of the vendors. And with that, item number four here, we'll get into a lot of the highlights of Savannah, and we're gonna be talking about some of the paid attractions. As I mentioned, there's a lot of highlights in history to see whenever it comes to Savannah. And one of the things that I really appreciated about the city was that they do a great job of preserving their history. And so when visiting Savannah, there's definitely some highlights that you're gonna to wanna to visit, you're gonna to wanna to experience. So it's important to know ahead of time what you can expect to see. So that way you can make the most of all that Savannah has to offer. A couple of great ways of doing this are you can purchase some admissions to some museums that you might wanna see, or another thing that I have seen that we personally weren't able to do were some type of guided walking tour. Getting tickets for some type of walking tour can really give you a behind the scenes or just another deeper level look at Savannah and some of the history that it has to offer. But when choosing which tour you wanna to go on, make sure that you know that there is a distinction between a ghost tour and a regular tour. So that's something that you might wanna be on the lookout for to make sure that you're getting the tour that you are wanting. Item number five here on the 
list plays into a little bit of the history of Savannah and a little fact about the city. And we're gonna be talking about the Savannah squares. When thinking of the layout of Savannah, one of the neat things about the city is that it's laid out in a grid shape pattern. And thanks to George Oglethorpe, the grid shape pattern also includes some squares. These squares were originally intended to use for practice areas for the militia, but today they serve as gathering places for the public and just another beautiful and historical area to check out when in Savannah. A lot of time these squares are very well landscaped and they also have some statues that you can go and check out. As I mentioned that there are some historical aspects when it comes to these squares, but they're also a really great place to get good pictures and just a neat little area to see when it comes to visiting Savannah. I thought that was a really neat aspect when it came to visiting Savannah because personally I had never visited an area or a city before that had a square or grid shape pattern layout like that so it was definitely something interesting to see and something good to know about. The next couple of items here we're going to be letting you know about some food options when it comes to visiting Savannah and up first here on the list we've got item number six and we are going to be talking about pralines. Now this may just be the tourist in me but when it comes to visiting visiting Savannah, I highly recommend and definitely think that you need to be trying pralines. When exploring the city, definitely go and find some type of candy shop that sells pralines. Oftentimes they will offer a free sample for you, but also you can go ahead and buy a little pack to take home with you to either have as a souvenir or give friends and family members. Going along with the topic of food, I got to share with you one of my favorite things when it comes to Savannah, and that's item number seven here on the list. And we're going to be talking about spuds at Spanky's. Now before visiting Savannah, I actually had no idea what spuds were. So for any locals that may be watching this, please forgive me. But when visiting Savannah, you definitely have to check out Spanky's that is located on River Street. When at Spanky's, you can expect to find not only good food, but really good chicken tenders. And for your side option, don't go with the regular French fries or whatever you usually go with. You have to get the Spanky spuds. I had my doubts at first because I had no idea what the waitress was talking about when she asked me if I wanted spuds, but I figured I'm visiting a new place. I should try whatever is on the menu. So I went ahead and went with the spuds and they absolutely blew my mind. These spuds are sliced potatoes that are hand battered and deep fried in Spanky's original batter. So if there's anything that you take away from the video, definitely take away this tip and go to Spanky's and try their spuds. But let me know in the comments if you do. The last food item that we have on the list here is item number eight. And we're gonna be talking about wet willies. Now it's no secret that if you're visiting Savannah, in the summertime, it is going to get very hot. And I know for a fact, you're definitely gonna be looking for a way to go and somehow try to cool off from the Savannah heat. So I highly recommend finding a Wet Willies location and enjoying one of their frozen daiquiris. Wet Willies is a really fun place to visit. It's definitely a more modern place when it comes to Savannah, but it's a fun place to go, cool off, get a good drink. They have a wide range and assortment of flavors when it comes to their frozen daiquiris. And obviously these daiquiris are alcoholic. So if you are looking for a non-alcoholic option, they have one of those and they also have a sugar-free option. So go ahead and check out Wet Willies. Item number nine here on the list is one thing that I didn't get to do when I was in Savannah, but I definitely want to check out if I head back to the city again. And so item number nine here on the list, we're going to be talking about the Savannah Bells Ferry. Now one place you're going to want to visit whenever it comes to visiting Savannah is the waterfront in Savannah. This waterfront looks onto the river where you'll find numerous ferry options. Options. It's my understanding that the Savannah Bells Ferry is a free ferry option and means of transportation when it comes to visiting Savannah. And there's a couple of pickup and drop off points when it comes to the Savannah Bells Ferry. You can get picked up or dropped off at Savannah River Walk at City Hall, at the Savannah River Walk location in Morrell Park, and on the other side of the river at the Savannah Convention Center on Hutchison Island. So when it comes to the ferry, you don't necessarily need to take it as a means of transportation, but it is just another neat way to see a different side of Savannah to have a different experience when it comes to visiting there. So it might be another fun thing that you want to add to your list. And with that, we'll get to item number 10 here on the list, and we're going to be talking about River Street. Now, River Street is a fun place to visit because it has a mix of historical Savannah with some modern Savannah. Some of the newer buildings that are on River Street are nestled right beside some old cotton warehouses, which is really neat. But here you'll find a wide variety of places to eat, such as Spanky's, or you'll find some shops to go and visit. It's definitely a very touristy area when it comes to Savannah, but it's a neat place that you're going to want to go and visit River Street 
Street is all cobblestone, which is a really neat aspect of River Street. And if you're looking for souvenirs, that's definitely a place that you can go and find some souvenirs of your time in Savannah to remember your trip by. So there you go, everyone. There are a list of 10 things that I think you need to know when it comes to visiting Savannah. As I may have mentioned before, I really enjoyed my time visiting Savannah and I definitely look forward to any future chances that I get to visit the city. I'd never visited a city that does such a good job of preserving their history. And that's definitely an aspect of Savannah that I really appreciate and makes the experience enjoyable and memorable when visiting the city. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Savannah or if you are a local that is watching this video, I would love if you would leave a comment with some other things that you should know before visiting Savannah or some things that you should do when visiting the area. Definitely leave your feedback in the description bar below and also let me know what you think of my list. But thank you all so much for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful when it comes to knowing things before visiting Savannah and maybe add some things to your list if you are planning a visit there. If you're interested in keeping up with future videos about things to know before visiting X place, definitely hit that subscribe button below and I'll keep you posted when the next video goes live. And with that, thanks so much again for watching today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.